started at Hillel Torah, I guess it was now about 36 years ago, uh, in nursery school, and I loved going to Hillel Torah. It was a great experience and set me up for success uh, in high school and beyond. I don't think I ever had a choice in sending my children to Hillel Torah, but I'm very happy with what the choice that we ended up making. Growing up, I went to a school that was very similar in New Jersey, very similar to Hillel Torah. But the programming that they're doing is really just incredibly different from what we, saw, what we did when we were children. There is a lot of teamwork, a lot of collaboration. They're learning with different modalities. It's not static sitting in a desk taking copious notes like I did you know, back in Mrs. Eichenstein's social studies class. I really feel that what they're learning in school just reinforces the thought that we want them to put into their life as Jewish children. The staff is just full of incredible people. Their love for the children is incredible. The kids love it. They're really learning so much. They're so happy to be there every single day. It really is the right place to be. Karen and Michael are probably two of the most selfless people I know. Sometimes it's obvious and you realize they're doing stuff for other people, and sometimes it's so subtle you almost don't even realize. Karen volunteers so much time with the shul at Holy Beit Zion, and Michael, being a gabai, has really helped both of them make such a huge impact on the community. They don't wait for you to ask them. They take the initiative. I see Michael in the school, supportive, concerned, sensitive. Karen, in terms of the children, very, very dedicated. I might have given birth to Michael, but he will be the first to tell you that Karen made him the man he is today. She takes a tremendous amount of pride in having a home that people feel comfortable coming to. Karen has always been uh, into giving, so whether it be the, the show or her dedication to helping my father out here and the commitment to the, to the school itself, it's, she's always been giving. I think what impresses me most is their sense of community. They give so much back and I marvel at what a community they live in and how they participate. They are excellent parents. Whether Michael is coaching the kids in basketball, he's always there. Karen and Michael are always at the school presentations. It was a good choice for Parents of the Year. You can tell that they've dedicated their lives to their children, and it's reflected when you walk into their home, and it's just a pleasure and a joy to be around them. It's been amazing to watch how their kids have grown into amazing young adults, and I'm sure I'm going to be continued amazed at how they develop in the years to come. My parents do a lot for the school and they spend more time on us than they spend in their lives doing what they need to do. I'm learning lots of things from my dad about things in religion like davening or he taught me how to lane for my bar mitzvah. My mom is usually volunteering at school. She's mentoring me and my name's not numbers Holocaust survivor program. But at the same time, they still are getting things in for work and helping out the community in many ways. I feel like my mom and dad make time in their life to help me to do homework, make meals for me. Because they're helping so much and they're doing a lot for the school. It's pretty impressive. They're wonderful role models for our grandchildren. They're very nurturing and um, they're just as nurturing to the school. They give very freely of their time, their energy. I mean, it's, it's really like an extension of their family. Michael and Karen are really the product of two families who truly believe in the mission of Hillel Torah, and you see it through all of their actions. While Karen is very visible in the school, Michael is just as busy working for the school behind the scenes. He's been on the finance committee for a number of years, and it's really been a wonderful relationship working with both Karen and Michael in the school. You know, people say that sometimes children should learn from their parents. Well, I'm a parent that still is very impressed and can learn from my children from all the good things they're doing. Whatever it takes, they do, and, and that's really what, you know, that's what Hill Torah is really all about. Karen and Michael are really one of the best examples of parents who we have a very close partnership with. And it's because of parents like Karen and Michael that the school has been so successful and we could continue to be so successful. It's not this sense of obligation. It's just 
innately who they are. It's their essence. Uh, the warmth they've espoused from day one and just their true dedication and enthusiasm in bringing Yiddishkeit to the community in so many different venues. They're role models to us and uh, Torah personalities that we all strive to be. Jacob's been in the school now for 11 years. He's really spent most of his life in Hillel Torah and it's really a critical part of his and, 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 and Josh and Emma's life. And if it's such an important part of their life, it really should be an important part of our life. Whether it's you know, popping in and helping out in the office or doing a hot lunch or just being in the building, your kids see you in the building and they can appreciate that you, how important they are to you. The school is just an incredible place to be. We really think it's very important to contribute and look for every opportunity to be part of the school, part of our kids' daily lives.